नमस्कार टुडे आई हैव सीन अ रिपोर्ट न्यूज दैट इज सुप्रीम कोर्ट जजमेंट ऑन सब क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ शेड्यूल कास्ट एंड शेड्यूल ट्राइब एंड द पावर दैट आर फॉर द स्टेट इट्स अ वेरी लैंडमार्क जजमेंट दे हैव मेड टू थ्री पॉइंट्स दैट विद इन द शेड्यूल कास्ट एंड शेड्यूल ट्राइब्स आर नॉट homogeneous uh, thing it, that means it is not something like all the scs are not similar so there is uh, again uh, <coughs> upper level and lower level and all those things are there so sub classification is right but only thing is they have told very clearly you get quantifiable and qualitative data it cannot be on your whim whims and fancies that is the uh, very important point to be noted even though supreme court has told that states can do sub classification which i feel is it should be with the approval of uh, government of india as one of the judges has made that point very clearly now majority has told the state can also do based on proper data okay there lies the important point so yeah, yeah. for political reasons states cannot do any tinkering on all these things number one but the most important aspect of their judgment even though it is not uh, operative portion that creamy layers among schedule caste and schedule tribe should be taken out of reservation that is the very important point which i have been mentioning in my earlier videos on reservation that reservation is required because the people uh, socially backward and economically backward people have to be lifted they have to be treated at par so till that is done reservation is required yes 100% in fact i used to say that you give free education to the people who are from the backward uh, class and i mean socially backward and uh, those uh, scheduled caste and uh, scheduled tribe uh, people the children should be given <coughs> residential school with all facilities made by government parents need not spend any single pay for the child not only that wherever deserving cases that people the parents are very poor education allowance can be paid to parents for sending a child for education nothing wrong government can do the those things this i have told in the earlier video now the point is the supreme court has touched upon the creamy layer aspect yes my question is an ias officer who is probably under schedule caste or schedule tribe can we say a class 1 officer or ias ips officer as socially backward no their status makes them the power the authority the status make them the top most people why should the children of those senior officers be given reservation robbing the facility robbing the <coughs> reservation seats from the ground trodden people it should go to the people who are really deserving this is what i have been telling and supreme court has told, even though supreme court has not mentioned what is creamy layer and what is non creamy layer because they are told you cannot uh, take uh, based on the obc creamy layer i agree but there should be some classification the people who earn apparently more than 1 and 1/2 lakhs in a month should be outside the purview of uh, economically or socially backward the money matters when somebody is rich when somebody is uh, economically very high level or rich social backwardness gets a back seat people cannot uh, talk nonsense about them it is only the people who are economically backward who are illiterate as we see in the news they are illiterate so for them we have to give our hands to lift them up so naturally this reservation should go to 
the deserving people of SCST and that is to start with the officers who are group A officers whose children should not get reservation number one the business people or people who earn more than one and a half, month, one and a half lakhs in a month that means 18 lakhs in a year their children should be outside the purview of reservation a simple calculation they pay more than 30 percent tax so they they should be outside the purview of because if you say they are also socially and economically backward it is wrong it is misnormal and all these reservations should go to the people among them <coughs> socially backward people are there in our country they should be lifted at par with all other people whatever you call forward community or anything you call everybody should be equal that should be the motto objective and that can be achieved if proper measures are taken to uplift those people who are socially and economically backward of course one of the judges has made a point that the reservation should be only for first generation which i feel is unfair the first generation is up to group a group b group c group d staff now group d is not there group c let us say they are economically backward again socially okay since they are earning uh, monthly thing social backwardness may not be there but economic uh, strength it is only very lower level they get salary and that so group c employees children similar to i mean uh, obc thing they should be given again nothing wrong it is only where the people who cross the limit of 18 lakhs in a uh, year something like that if i am giving some indication so that way it should be done then i think the purpose of reservation will serve its <coughs> uh, purpose and the the objective can be achieved sooner than later that is to bring all the people at par everybody is equal that should be our uh, motive okay it's really great <clears throat> there is one more uh, news the supreme court has come down heavily on the former uh, private secretary bibhav kumar of delhi chief minister arvin kejriwal who is incidentally behind bar this man has beaten swati maliwal who is incidentally rajya sabha member black and blue and uh, she even though she was a woman and uh, she tried to tell that she had a health issue don't uh, beat me on those things that man is alleged to have beaten her left and right in the residence in the house of chief minister when chief minister is said to be inside the house so the supreme court has said we are shocked in the manner at which it is done to somebody visiting the cm residence this is one of the points supreme court has made and the supreme court said what kind of power has gone into his head that bibhav kumar that she tells him to stop as she is having a particular physical condition but he continues it is inhuman what kind of moral policing does he do is this kind of goon supposed to work at uh, cm's resident they have called him goon and that fellow was supported by the same cm arvind kejriwal after the incident he was going around with him in the election hearing and other thing and uh, they were trying to shame uh, this uh, swati maliwal this is how aam aadmi functions what else can we accept from a person who is happy to call himself an anarchist though he is a chief minister of uh, delhi he says i am an anarchist the an anarchists uh, team can we accept uh, expect a decency from them no so but supreme court has done the right thing to question all this behavior which is nothing but of a goon's behavior 
let us hope for the best supreme court will definitely do justice to swati maliva and also the woman who are treated like this thank you we'll see in some other video